we know the alkenes belong to the saturated hydrocarbons that is they have the carbon atoms linked to each other by single covalent bonds the alkenes follow a general formula cn h2n plus 2 So if we start with n is equal to 1 we get CH4 the name given is methane since it's an alkene so it gets the suffix in for one carbon atom we have meth so the name is methane similarly for the other alkenes say if we have C4H10 the general formula remains CN H2N plus 2 so for four carbon atoms we get C4H10 it is but and since it is an alkene we have the suffix "-ane", so it becomes butane. Now, if we remove one hydrogen from any of these alkenes, stay, say we start with methane, we have CH4, we remove one hydrogen atom. What do we get? We get CH3 and the fourth place is vacant. Now, there can be any group which can be present joined by this covalent bond. So now, whenever an hydrogen atom is removed from any of the alkenes, Say in this case, we take methane, we remove one hydrogen atom, we get CH3 and the fourth place is vacant. So this group becomes an alkyl group. The suffix "-ane", is replaced by a YL, that is IL group. So we get the alkyl groups, we know the general formula of the alkanes, is CnH2n plus 2. If we remove one hydrogen atom, so we remove one from this, so we get CnH2n plus 1. So whenever we remove one hydrogen atom from any of the alkanes, we get the alkyl group. So if we remove one hydrogen atom from methane, we get methyl. That is CH3. The fourth place is vacant. Any group can be added here. If we remove one hydrogen atom from ethane, we get ethyl group, that is C2H5. Again, the fourth place is vacant for the first carbon atom and so on. So whenever one hydrogen atom is removed from any of the alkanes, we get the corresponding alkyl group. If the formula of propane is C3H8, what is the formula of the propyl group? We are given the formula of pro propane to be C3H8. We know we get the propyl or the alkyl group, the corresponding alkyl group, when we remove one hydrogen atom from the corresponding alkane. So if we have propane, we remove one hydrogen atom, we get C3H7 and one place is vacant. So this becomes the propyl group. We are given propane, we remove one hydrogen atom, we get the corresponding alkyl group, that is propyl group. What is the formula of the hexyl group? We are given that we have to find the formula of the hexyl group. The presence of hex means there are six carbon atoms. So the corresponding alkane for hexyl is hexane. Now there are six carbon atoms, so this becomes C6. We know the general formula of alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. So when we put 6 for N, we get C6H6 into 2 plus 2. So we get C6H14. Now we have to find the formula of the corresponding alkyl group, that is hexyl group. So we remove one hydrogen atom, we get C6H13. We can also get this by knowing the formula of alkyl group. We know the formula of alkyl group is CnH2n plus 1. So we know for hexyl, that is for hex, we have 6 carbon atoms. So if we substitute N by 6, we get C6H13. So this is the formula of the hexyl group.